And so 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse, verse uh, um, 2. Let's go here. 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 2. And Elkanah, he had two wives. The name of the one was Hannah, Montana. <laughs> I'm joking around. <laughs> it's just a joking around. The best of both worlds. And the name of the other was Penina. And Penina had children, but Hannah had no children. Verse three. And this man went up out of his city yearly. He went up out of his city yearly to worship and to sacrifice unto the Lord of hosts in Shiloh. Now, saints, I want you to catch the revelation on this. It says that he sacrificed, he sold into the Lord of hosts. Do you know the significance of this? The dimension of the Lord of hosts is really the Lord of angel armies. So he was sowing into the army force of God. So, so, so when he was sowing, he was saying, wage war for me, Lord. Protect me in these evil streets. Protect me in these streets. When I'm moving, protect me from the arrow that flies by day. When, 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 I, uh, 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 when I'm moving, protect me by the terror, from the terror by night. He sold into the Lord of hosts. That means the Lord of angel armies. Saints, you got to catch this revelation in the Holy Spirit. Elkanah used the seed to activate the armies of God. The seed was activating the armies of God. This is why when you're sowing, you win battles in court cases because you're activating the Lord of hosts. Saints, even if you don't have something that you're supposed to have that is a part of your inheritance, the reason why you really don't have it is because there's a war. There's a battle. So you're going to need the angel armies. So here's what I'm telling you. A lot of times people are looking to win battles, but they're not using the end time weapon to win it. And it's the seed. This is deep to me because we find out a revelation. It says in verse three that this man went up out of his city yearly to worship. Look at how he's worshiping. He's sowing large money. They told us that worship was singing a song. They told us that worship is making sure that you, you sung unto the Lord. But worship will have nothing to do with that. Worship is sowing. Your seed is a song. Your seed is a voice. Your seed is a melody. The man went up out of the city yearly to worship, to, to sacrifice. Watch this. It says to worship and sacrifice. You know what's the significance of this? Worship is sowing, but sacrifice is painful sowing. It is stretching yourself with the seed. It means that you're going over and beyond in your seed. Do you know that some people are going to live their whole life and never hear this? And they think the Lord want to hear their prayers with their, with their funky breath. <laughs> they, they think that they, God want to hear their funky breath praying every single day. They think God listening to that halitosis mouth tosser. I'll give you mud in the sun, in a song in itself. This is not what you have required. You take me deeper within, through the way things have been. You're looking into my heart. He looking into your heart and you ain't got no daggone seed. 
You crazy as hell. <laughs> you crazy as hell. You you singing a song talking about he looking deep within your heart and you ain't a seed so. He looking into my heart. I'm coming back to the heart of worship. What's the heart of worship? What's the heart of worship, dog on it? What's the heart of worship? The heart, you, uh, what's the heart of worship? People been singing that song for years. They coming back to the heart of worship and they not no seed so. You know how crazy that sounds? You singing unto the Lord with empty hands. And you saying, I'm coming back to the heart of worship where it's all about you. But you pay State Farm more money than you pay God. You paying off for your vehicles more than you paying the Lord. You's a damn liar. <laughs> and, and see, most times that's what your parents did. You just falling in the footsteps of your parents. They did the same thing. I, I, I'm coming back to the heart of worship. That's, that's what they did too. Somebody got to break the yoke. They got to give the devil a choke slam. Some of you are you sowing just like your biological father. That's all he did too. You saw it like your biological mother. Sometimes if you look deep in the spirit, you'll realize the reason why I was stuck to giving $20 and $40 is because that's all, that's all sweet Willie was giving my mama. Let's keep on moving. <laughs> let me, let me move along strong here. Let me. Let me make my way uptown walking fast. Let me make my way uptown walking, <laughs> walking fast. <laughs> somebody, somebody better break the chain. You better break the chain then. Break it. Break it. Don't carry on the sowing that went on in the old generation. Sow out a new wine, new revelation. <laughs> but what be crazy when, when the baby come out looking like Willie Earl? <laughs> Willie Earl Thompson, said, nah, I didn't, nah, I didn't, I don't know what she talking about, player. Uh-uh. <laughs> nah, I don't know what she's talking about, player. Nah, that never happened, brother. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Nah, I don't know what she's talking about, player. Nah, she don't let, don't let her fool you. Don't let her fool you. But Willie, she got your nose and everything. Nah, I don't know what she's talking about, player. Nah, she ain't got my nose, now. Nah. nah. But Willie Earl, she took a picture of you when you fell asleep. She said it was after she had picked you out. We got the picture and everything. No, that's not what happened, brother. That's not <laughs> no, that's not what happened, brother. That's not what happened. <laughs> no, that's not what happened, brother. What happened was is I fell asleep. I took a nap. There was about, there were about a couple of people around the house. And uh, they took some pictures and they sent it to her and told her that she could have it and use it as evidence. That's not what happened. No. Willie Earl then went Jamaican. No, that's not what happened to me, man. That's not what. That's not what it went down, man. That's not what. That's not what I go on around here. That's not what I go on. <laughs> not... Saints, I knew of some island people. I don't know about y'all, but I knew of some island people. People. Um. That I'm going to tell you right now, you got to be careful when you go into an island store and a customer walk in and they just go to the back. <laughs> I've had that happen to me. 
I, I, I came to go get me some island, what they, what they call them, island crackers. Went into the, went to island store. You know, when you go into island store, you hit boom, 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 boom. Hey, hey, and it smell like old, it smell like old ops. It smell like old ops. It smell like fried pig back in there. Hey, man. It smell like fried pig back in there. Hey, man. And Saints, I'm going to tell you this right now. Um, um, when I've gone inside of there before, I've had the man at the front desk. And then, no, this is your story. <laughs> and then he had the front desk and then he just run to the back. I'm like, what the? <laughs> what? what in the world? Why he just ran from me? And then there come a woman in the front and she up there looking around you. How you doing? And she goes to the back. And meanwhile, I'm trying to buy this island drink. I'm trying to buy this island drink. I'm not, I'm trying to buy the island drink. I'm telling you that right now. I'm trying to, and, and I'm not even worried about all that. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm up there trying to buy this island drink, but. I know that it smell like fried oxtails and, 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 and fried pigback and, and, and stuff when you walk into the store. <laughs> like somebody been cooking, but I'm not worried about all that stuff. I'm just I'm just trying to get my meal. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm not worried about all that other stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm not worried about all that other stuff. <laughs> so I'm I'm, 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 I'm I'm just trying to purchase my thing. Now I'm looking at the time. I'm starting to realize this is It's about good three minutes. It's about good tree. Because we don't say three with an H. We say tree. Like tree, tree of life. It's, it's been three minutes. And saints, then she leave. <laughs> and when she leave, it's about a breach. And then he come out and say, hey, man, how you doing? Never mind that. Hey, what the? Brother, uh, I don't need a bag of nan, none of that. I just, I just bag it myself because some, some, it's already bags that have gone on. <laughs> I don't need a bag for this. You can see, I, I don't need a bag for this. I, I hold this in my hand because I don't want. Yeah, I don't need it. He be like, you, you need a receipt, man. You, you want a receipt? You want a receipt? No, no, I don't want a receipt on that number. I don't want no receipt on that number. I don't want. I don't want no receipt of that, none of that. I don't need. Oh, okay, man. Okay, man. Well, well, well. Let me go open up the door for you. No, no, I don't. I don't want you to do that, none of that. You, 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 you okay? All right. <laughs> and since I remember being in situations like that, and I started realizing, well, well, it kind of puts you in a perception, right? That Jamaican men, they just. <laughs> Now, mind you, this was a big old man. Like he was, he, 
he he wasn't skinny on that, none of that. He was a big old man. So I started thinking, I'm like, what, what is going on here? Like, is this something that just, is it just because, you know, is that culture-wise that they just, you know, they just finish playing volleyball and then they just get together, you know? They just finish playing basketball, like salt all over them, salt. Salt, salt water, <laughs> salt, salt water all over them, and they just with the salt, salt water, jaboom, the vinegar water. Now, says let's go, let's go here. First, 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 Sam, first Samuel chapter one, first Samuel chapter one. Look what it says here in verse three. And this man went up out of his city. Now, saints, you notice what he had to do? He had to go up. Because when you sowing, you ascending. This man had to go upwards. See, the seed is you flying in the heavenly realm. That's how you start getting to the top. Remember it said that you're above and not beneath? Well, well, the seed is above activity. You can't get to the top if you're not using the top material. The top mantle the top weapon, the top functionality. You're going to get to the top because you're using something that is connectivity to the top, and that's the seed. Look what it says right here. And he went up out of his city yearly to worship and to sacrifice. Why both of them say worship and sacrifice? Because we know worship is sowing the seed, but sacrifice is where you purpose in your heart to give a seed that's going to stretch you and is also going to touch the Lord and bring the Lord into deep pleasure. See, saints, what was going on in Elkanah's heart is that he had a revelation that the seed is how I'm going to not only protect myself, but it's going to protect the Lord as well. It's going to protect him from not feeling appreciated. It's going to protect him from feeling neglected. It's going to protect him from all the dishonor that he has to look at in the earth. When he sees my honor, he's able to tap out of the mentality of seeing dishonor and disrespect. Look, and he went go sacrifice unto the Lord. And the two sons of Eli, Hophini and Phineas and Ferb. <laughs> First Samuel chapter one, verse three. Phineas, <laughs> <laughs> Phineas and Ferb. And the priests of the Lord were there. <laughs> I wonder if there was two fishes. Phineas and Ferb, there were two fishes. There was... Maybe they, maybe it was um, symbolism. Maybe there was two fishes. <laughs> hot Feeny, Hot Feeny and Phineas. Them, them strange names. That's probably why Eli fell off because he named his children Hot Feeny, Hot Feeny and Phineas. Hot, Hot Feeny. Verse four. And when the time was that Elkanah offered, he gave to Penina his wife and to all her sons and her daughters. Portions, But unto Hannah, he gave a worthy portion for he loved Hannah. But the Lord has shut up her womb. Now, saints, I want you to catch this. It says that he gave Hannah a worthy portion, meaning she had more. Than what Panina received. Here's what I want you to catch in this text. Elkanah is able to do all of this because he a seed sower. Elkanah is able to do all of this because he a seed sower. So he done, he, done re, he done released himself into the glory realm of finances. What I want to magnify to you is that money cometh is at work in Elkanah's life. Elkanah has tapped into the money cometh anointed. 
because he knows how to lift up offerings to the Lord. He's a seed sower. So money cometh is operating on his life. Elkanah knows prosperity angels because his offering has saturated his atmosphere with the angels, the money team of God. The Lord's angelic money team is around Elkanah. Look, he's able to give all this money to Hannah and Penina. He's able to bless his, 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 his two wives here. He's able to bless all of his sons, all of his daughters. He's able to rule and reign all because of the seed. The seed is the reason, reason why that he doesn't have any financial strongholds stopping him. And, and see, this is what gonna, gonna unlock all of God's protection is when you learn how to worship and to sacrifice. See, Elkanah knew how to worship sacrificially. So Elkanah knew how to couple both of these realms. Now, since you learned something today, that worship and sacrifice, are, are, they have their different functionality. That worship is that the act of sowing, but sacrifice is where, 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 where you, you inflict pain in your sowing. You, you tap into what is the level I could reach here? How could I stretch myself? How could I go to the next degree? How could I sow from the glory presence of the spirit? How could I sow out of the throne room? How could I sow out of the Ark of the Covenant? Because even though the seed is the Ark of the Covenant, you can sow out of the Ark of the Covenant, meaning that the seed actually knows how it's supposed to be sown. But, but when you sow it correct, you, you in agreement with the seed. Because the seed knew that it came into your life to be sown. Let, let me give you an example here. Say the Lord right now, he dropped $300, right? And, and really the Lord gave this to you as seed. The spirit of this money knows that it's supposed to be sown. So if you do this, right, you got $200 that know that it's not supposed to be in your hand. And see, seed know if you abusing it because it's like you taking a fish out of water. If you take a fish out of water, it's like you are killing the fish because its habitat is not the land. That its habitat is the water. So, 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 so a lot of times you got blood money on your hands because you done killed a lot of dollars. Because that money know that it wasn't supposed to be in your hands. So, so, so it's bloodshed. It's bloodshed is, 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 is upon, upon you. So, so say the Lord drop this and this seed money. And, and watch this here. You take boom. You say, I, I keep this one right here. Get, guess what? That 300 wasn't no, it, it was it was seed money. So when you keep that one, you, you, got, you, got, you got an illegal hostage in your presence. Wow. 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 Saints. And watch this here. Here's what happens. If the Lord want to give you that large money and, and you got hostage money here, all Satan does is hostage all of this. So, so you stuck to this small when, 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 the, when, when the inheritance money is really this. But see, Satan can do to you what you do to God, because if you hold God, his seed money hostage and, and, and you hold the seed money hostage, Satan can use your money and say, I'm going to hold that hostage too. Elkanah was a man that did not let Satan have any power over none of his money. Satan broke the power of Satan off of his finances. Oh, hallelujah. 
Elkanah had power over the devil financially because he didn't hold his money hostage. Neither did the Lord hold his money hostage. And saints, I want you to start understanding this, that the seed is also the path of God to supernatural protection. The seed is the path of God to supernatural protection. When the enemy comes at you like a flood, the spirit of the Lord lay, raises the standard. But how he going to do it if you ain't got no seed? The seed raises the standard of your protection, your victory, and your recompense, your restoration. It's through the seed that the Lord can now raise the standard and say, you can't touch them because they are honoring me. They're listening to me. They are worshiping me. They are sacrificing unto me. So you can't create no situation to make them go through unnecessary sacrifices because they already worship me and they are already sacrificed unto me. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. How could Satan put sacrifice on Elkanah when Elkanah is already sacrificing? How could Satan pit sacrifices upon, uh, 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 upon, uh, how could he pit any sacrifices upon Elkanah? Satan pit any satanic sacrifice because Elkanah is sowing. Elkanah has stopped the devil from having the power to pit any burden on him because the burden breaker is the seed. How you going to put a burden on me and I got the burden breaker at work in my life? I got burden breaker working in my life right now. Every time I sow, it's a burden breaker. How you going to put a yoke around my neck when I got a yoke destroyer that I'm sowing? Every time I sow my seed is a yoke destroyer. How you going to put a yoke around me? The seed anointing destroys the yoke of every bondage. You break oppression off your life when Satan want to pit thoughts on you. What's going to happen to you? You know you shouldn't have had did that. Oh, you shouldn't have had did that. I'm going to condemn you. I know that you know you, you don't even know. You always make a mistake. You wrong. You're this stupid. I know what, what you're going to spend on. You ain't got no money. And Satan up there talking to you. The seed break the yoke. The seed destroy the yoke. The seed remove the burden. Satan can't keep on illegally trespassing against your mind when you legally sow it into your God. The seed is a legal weapon that stops illegal activity from prospering. The seed is a legal weapon that stops illegal activity from prospering. The teaching of the seed is the teaching of deliverance. You cannot be delivered until you honor your God. And you cannot be delivered until you have developed a habit of honoring your God. Until you have developed a habit of honoring your God. Until you develop a habit of honoring your God. See, we just dealt there. We just dealt there. See, we just dealt there with with the with the with the anointing of Elkanah to sow. Did y'all catch that? Elkanah had a sowing anointing on him. I received the sowing anointing of Elkanah. I received the worship anointing and the sacrificing anointing of Elkanah. I received the grace of sacrifice through the Elkanah mantle. Why was Elkanah worshiping like that? Because he had a mantle on him. And the Bible, remember what the Bible said, he went up. That means that he was, he was floating in the heavenly realm. He was ascending into the heavenly realm. He, he was, he was ascending to the hill of the Lord. Wow. 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 He was 
ascending into the hill of the Lord with his seed. Now, saints, when we get to the hill of the Lord, you got all type of angels that are in the hills of God to bring you a testimony. Hallelujah. See, see, the angels that's in the hill of God are there to bring you a testimony, to bring you into testimonies so that you could testify of what the Lord has done with his goodness. I speak goodness over you. I speak goodness over you. I decree the goodness of God over your life in the name of King Jesus. I decree the angel of goodness to follow you. I received that Elkanah anointing of sowing. All right, let's go here. Let's go here. Uh, Second Kings chapter four. Second Kings.